Hi guys, it's Legionero back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. So today I have to make some vinyl shirts for my friend. They're going to the beach. So since I'm making her shirts, I decided to also make myself some shirts. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I am. Um, I have Cricut Design Space open. I'm going to show you all how I upload a design and I may possibly show you how I create a design in Canva. I've done this before on previous videos, um, but I think I'm going to um, do that today. And then, you know, once we get the computer part done, then I will um, talk you all through how I print the have the Cricut cut the designs using the vinyl and all of that good stuff. All right. So uh, whenever I am making shirts with my Cricut, I go to new project and I want to upload the designs that I'm going to use. I'm going to upload all of them at the same time. I'm not going to make you watch me do that, but I will show you how I upload one of them. Um, so I'm going to go down here to upload and Upload image, browse, and I do believe all of the images are saved on my desktop. So let me go to my desktop, and I'll find I'll find the easy one. <laughs> I think. Um, so this is one a design that she wanted for her daughter. It says I'm a bougie foodie. So you click on your design and click open. Um, I always do complex. I used to do simple when it was black, but I, I do complex for everything now. And here, if I had a background on it, I would just click in an area to remove my background. Um, but since I create my designs in Canva, I um, and I have Canva Pro, I use the transparent background feature. All right, so I hit apply. And I'm doing a cut image, not a printing cut. Right, so once it uploads here, I'm going to upload the rest of my designs. But once it uploads here, I click on it, click Add to Canvas. And once it comes here, um, you size it to whatever size you want it to be. This is actually a, a nice size. <laughs> I may leave it like this. Um, if you like it like this, you would leave it like this. If you wanted to change the size, I always hit the unlock button to unlock it. And let's say I, maybe I do 9.5 by 5, you know, something like that. Um, but I might. And I like to have um, specific numbers for my size because I know how to cut my vinyl that way. All right, so that's how I upload a design. Um, once I get all of my designs uploaded, I will come back and I will show you how I send, send everything to my Cricut. Um, before I do that, though, I think I may show you how I um, create a design in Canva because one of my friends, she wants a... Her daughter is going to be a senior this upcoming school year, so she wants a shirt for her. So um, I'm going to head to Canva and create that design and um, try to make that shirt today, too. So I might as well. I don't like to turn my heat press on for more for one shirt. So since I'm doing a lot of shirts today, I, I think I'll go ahead and, and do that design. All right, I go to create a design and... Then I scroll down. Wait, did I not hit create a design? <laughs> create a design. <laughs> and then I hit custom. That little plus sign. And you can put in your width and height. I always make sure I change this to inches. But it's saved down here. So the inches. Three by three. And this is um, not... I just use three by three. There's no rhyme or reason <laughs> behind it. Um, all right, so let's see. Yeah, all right, then 
I go over here, I grab my text. And I hit add a heading. And I'm just going to type the words that she wants. And this is what she wants on there, but um, I am going to change the fonts and different things. I just wanted to give y'all just like a rough um, overview of how I do this. Um, so let's say I wanted to change this font, so I just double click on it. I will go here, and I will just you know try to find a font that goes with these fonts. Um, if I want to change these fonts, I would click on them. And now, if you're, if you're like me, you're not good at matching up fonts because I'm not good at, I'm not going to use that. That's, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to use that. But anyway, if you scroll down, Canva has, um, examples trying to get to them of different fonts you can use see like these fonts together and these are different fonts um, so if you're not like me and not good at putting together fonts um, you can go in Canva and see what all they have and you know the different fonts that they put together and you could just you know try out different things all right so let's say I was finished with this I will go to share and like I said I have Canva Pro so I can do I hit download I can do transparent background um, it will save it as a PNG even if you don't have Canva Pro and then in Cricut Design Space you can remove the background by just clicking the background um, if you don't have a Canva Pro um, but you do definitely want to download it as a PNG and it'll download and you can upload it to Cricut Design Space just like I did um, the other design. Okay, so the other designs that I uploaded are PNGs, but this one is actually a SVG. And how I want to do this is I want I want it to print out in two separate colors. So I want the black and then I want the gold. So over here, if you click on each one of these, you see it highlights a different star. I want to put all of the star and I want to put is beautiful together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can highlight. Everything. That didn't work like I wanted to, so I'm just going to click on them. Hold down control and just click everything until I have everything that I want in that design to um, print. Right? So the stars and is beautiful. I want that to print on one color vinyl. So I'm going to hit weld. All right. And then I'm going to click on everything I want in the black vinyl. And I'm going to click weld. All right. So now it's two separate designs. And then when I get ready to print it, is I can print it on two separate um, color vinyls. So... Um, I have one more to upload and then I will be finished. Wanted to show you all something else really quick. Um, this is another SVG that I'm going to print um, in two separate colors. But it had these black contours in here and I don't want those. So what I did, I just clicked on the black over here and I just hit delete. 
and that way they are not there anymore. All right. Now that I have everything uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and hit make it. All right, and this might take a um, few seconds, so I'm going to pause and come back once it gets to the, um, the next screen. It never fails. Every time I hit pause, it starts to move. <laughs> so. Like it says, it's sorting projects into mats by color. Um, so I actually need to go back and change these two, change the size of, of these two. Um, I do have the larger mat, but I really didn't want the design to be that big on, <laughs> on me. So um, I'll do that. I don't have to cut those right this second. But anyway, it puts everything on different mats. Okay, so it has everything sorted on different mats. Um, so first thing I'm going to do for each mat, I'm going to click mirror. Because anytime you are working with heat transfer vinyl, you have to mirror your images. So I'm just going down and making sure I hit mirror on all three. All right. All right, um, so now with this one, because I'm using two different color vinyls, I need to move this down um, on my mat, all right? So I'll know where to put each color vinyl, right? Uh, but with it up being that close, it was a little too close for me. All right, I'm going to look at the second one, see if it's the same thing. It is. So I'm going to click this design and just move it down. And I'll know where to put my vinyl when I get ready to um, make it. All right, and this one's fine because it's on one by itself. So I got everything mirrored. And I moved everything down on the mat where I want it. So I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to find my machine, hopefully Cricut Design Space and the Cricut Maker are loving each other today and it's not going to take long <laughs> to find my machine. All right, once it finds your machine up here, it's going to tell you to set base material. I am using Everyday Iron On for all of them except one. Um, so I hit my everyday iron on and it gives you this message. Make sure mirror is turned on and your iron on material is face down, the shiny side down on your mat. All right. Um, so everything else I do um, with the Cricut. So I'll show you that process. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and trim my vinyl down. I'm going to leave the width as is on here but the length I'm going to cut sometimes I do cut it down to size perfectly um, because I sometimes I feel like it's a waste of vinyl if you don't however I end up not using those vinyl pieces for anything so <laughs> And I can always cut it once once the Cricut has cut it I can always cut it down then so these are the first two that I'm cutting So grab my mat. I try to keep things separate. Um, the mat that I use for stickers and the mat that I use for vinyl, I try to keep it separate. Which reminds me I need to 
change my blade. Right, so you always lay your vinyl shiny side down. Right. I know that looks like the shiny side, but it is not. All right. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to make sure I have both vinyls in the right place. All right, I'm going to come over here to my cricket. Kind of dark. This is my sticker blade, so I'm taking that out. Let's see if I can find my other blade. And you should see that cricket button blinking. Place my mat. And I am going to hit my load button. And the cricket button should start blinking again. All right, and it's gonna cut. Right, once this finishes, you just hit your load button again and the mat will um, unload. Alright, so I'm just going to weed the vinyl off from the mat. Hopefully I'm not in the way too much. Um, I get most of my vinyl from Aviva Atlanta and it weeds so well. Um, the other vinyl I get from Atlanta vinyl, I think it's called. I get my, um, I was about to say SF101, that is not vinyl. Um, <laughs> I get the, I can't think of what it's called, but it's the really popular vinyl. I get that from a deep, uh, from Atlanta vinyl. the uh, Sizer or Caesar, that's what it's called. Um, I don't know if it's called Sizer or Caesar, but I think um, I get that from Atlanta Vinyl. It's held a really good price. It is, they sell it in Michaels, but it is super expensive in Michaels. 
So you can find some online places to get it. Alright, so I got it all weeded. I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of the vinyl. I won't show you that process. You've seen it. Um, but I'll come back and show you um, how I prep the shirts and press the vinyl on the shirts. Alright, so here's one of my shirts. Um, you always want to lint roll your shirt before you add the vinyl to it. So I'm just going to take my lint roller. I'm letting my heat press heat up. Once my heat press is heated up, I am um, I'm going to heat the shirt for about five seconds to take the moisture out of it, and then I'm going to place the vinyl, and then I'll press the vinyl. Alright, so this one um, is flocked vinyl, so it has like a suede finish to it. And you have to do a cool peel on the flocked vinyl. You can't peel it while it's hot, um, otherwise, it will peel up the letters. Alright, so here are the shirts for my friend. I gotta go ahead and get these packed up so I can mail them out. Um, actually, tomorrow's a holiday, so I gotta wait till Tuesday to mail them out. So, I need to get these packed up and then I will start working on the other shirts. Alright, so here's the other one. This one is one that I made for myself. Um, those stars gave me the blues trying to weed. <laughs> <laughs> but it all came out nice so super cute this is the shirt that I made for my friend's daughter um, this is the back of the shirt has her name on it so let me see if I can one hand flip <laughs> and then there we go not always elegant and then this is the front of the shirt um, and her mom picked these words, um, Simply Smart Senior Class of 2023. Alright, so that's that one. And I got one more. Alright, so this is the last one. I found a dirty shirt. <laughs> um, not a dirty shirt, but it, it has a spot on it. So, of course, I couldn't sell that to someone else. So, I have decided to make a shirt for myself. So, it says, Quit Talking, Begin Doing. Alright. And I, I found this um, SVG, I think, on Creative Fabrica. Um, I thought it was unique. But, so I decided to make me a shirt. So you can do that in a variety of colors and everything. So super cute. All right. So that is it for this video, guys. Question of the day. Do you like graphic tees? If so, do you have a Cricut machine or a silhouette and make your own? Um, or do you just buy graphic tees? Let me know in the comments. I will see you in the next video.